Welcome everyone. I'm a bit cranky today. It's an absolutely beautiful day here in Perth, Western Australia, but I've come into my office for two reasons which are interrelated. Firstly, the new three-part documentary series, Death on the Beach, screens today in the UK on Sky Crime. It was produced by Blast Films. Secondly, there was a write-up about the series containing a sentence that I'm about to take issue with. The write-up was published in National World and penned by Kean Rains, who describes himself as a digital content producer. The piece mentions the 2014 murders of Hannah Witheridge and David Miller, and then the offending sentence reads, quote, two illegal Burmese migrant workers were convicted of the murders in 2015 and sentenced to death, unquote. The first half of that sentence contains an absolutely glaring error that would have been avoided by any diligent investigative journalist. It was widely known that the first defendant, Zor Lin, had a valid passport and work permit. However, the highly corrupt and very dishonest Royal Thai Police Force went to great efforts to defame the defendants in the court of public opinion before, during and after the trial. Unfortunately, large numbers of journalists, particularly British journalists, often gleefully published and republished false statements from the police, making little, if any, effort to perform some fact-checking. An English translation of the court's judgment is available online, which states that only one defendant was convicted of any immigration offences. The most basic of research could have avoided the glaring error in the writer. Obviously, being convicted of rape and murder on the strength of bogus DNA evidence concocted by scientific fraud is far more serious for the convicted men. However, the injustice visited upon YPO and Zor Lin is compounded when journalists fail to perform their work in a diligent and responsible manner. People often ask me why I devote so much of my time and effort and energy into creating these videos and writing articles about murders and suspicious deaths on Koh Tao. Well, one reason is that, in my opinion, the mainstream media often does such a lousy job. In any event, though, please do watch the Sky Crime uh, documentary series if you have a chance. Please give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was at all helpful. And uh, please stay safe. Bye for now.